What if I was to tell you that the contents of this little two gigabyte jump drive has been worth over four million dollars to me over the last few years? What the heck man, four million bucks for a little jump drive? Can I have that jump drive? Well of course I'm not going to give you the jump drive that's made me four million dollars, but I am going to show you how to make your own software to rake it in big time. Sometimes as much as fifty to a hundred thousand dollars a month or more from the comfort of your own home. Now you might be thinking that software is different it's difficult to build, it's hard to put together, and you need to have a huge company like Microsoft to make it happen. It's actually pretty easy. Some of the software, like this CD I have here, was made in a few hours and it's made me lots of money. You can actually build these yourself, outsource the work in a really easy way to create software and build a killer passive income stream for you, your family, and whoever else you want. It's one of the easiest ways that I find to make money online. And I'll never forget that first piece of software that I started out with years ago ago when we were renting a room in a house in Lakewood, California. It was my wife, my child, myself renting two rooms in a house. I was there in the extra room that we used as my office and I came up with this idea for a software and we put it on a floppy disk. What the heck? Where does a floppy disk even go? And I remember it like it was yesterday. I was sitting there depressed in this little house that I was renting, trying to make a better life for my family, and we sold over $10,000 worth of the software within one hour of going live. And I was flipping out because here I was, and now we're making money, which was really cool. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to start your own software business, how easy it is, how you can get started, what you need to get started, and exactly how to piece it all together. And some of these softwares make 50 50 to $100,000 a month or more, and I'm going to show you how that works, and we're starting right now. Now, if you were to take a look at some of the top YouTubers that teach how to make money with affiliate marketing and everything like that, such as Alex Becker, Russell Brunson, Neil Patel, and hopefully I'm in there somewhere too. They all have one thing in common, and that one thing is that they have software. Now software, having your own piece of software or code or tool or whatever, is going to give you the leverage that you need to break out and start earning big money. So if you wanna make $100,000 a month or more, get into the million dollar a month range, stuff like that, you're gonna notice that all these people have software. Now there's several different types of software they have. You're gonna look at it and say, okay, well maybe there's stuff like utilities utilities right we spelled that right i think right utilities are things that you can use like a little tool that might convert files or download mp3s or something like that or something that uh, is useful on windows or mac that'll change a file right very simple that's like a utility or a calculator or something like that very simple a budget software would fall under utility now some people have other things like toolbars you'll notice that i use toolbars quite often. Toolbars are good because you can give them away free and get people back to you over and over and over. We saw this with the Honey app. It's a little app that you put on your Chrome when you shop. It saves you money and that company is making a ton of money. There's also stuff like Wish who is set to do billions of dollars this year and it's all an app based on social media traffic which is crazy. Now you might also see things like Sweets Okay, a lot of people have suites. What are suites? Suites are something like, you might see Russell Brunson has the click funnels, or you might see uh, Neil Patel has something like the crazy egg software, and different things like that, where you get a whole suite of tools that's gonna help you with something. For example, you might have a suite of tools that's for accountants, or a suite of tools that's for realtors, or something like that. Very, very cool. So we got utilities, we got toolbars, we got suites. We also have plugins. Plugins are very popular. Lots of people make millions of dollars a year with plugins for WordPress, phones, and different things like that. Again, extremely easy to build. I outsource these. I have a full-time outsourcer that I pay $200 a week to build these for me. And oftentimes he can build them in less than two weeks, which is crazy. That means I'm getting a full-on software tool for like 400 bucks. Wow, Marcus, that's insane. And I'm still trying to find out where that damn floppy drive goes. That's right, outsourcing is extremely inexpensive and very easy to do. And I want you to notice that having these software tools, having these little downloads, having something to give away or sell is going to put you light years ahead of the competition and you will be 
on a pillar of your own in your marketplace, raking in all the cash. Now this also works with downloadable products. For example, you can have like a downloadable book, a video product, or you could even have something like a theme download. One of the things that I've used over the years is having themes that are custom for certain things. You can have a theme that's built for WordPress for realtors, and you can give that theme away or charge for it, and then boom, you have a list of all the realtors who wanna make more money with the real estate sites. It's absolutely astounding when you think of the potential that you could have. You can also create generic WordPress themes and put them out there and build a huge mailing list of people that are interested in WordPress. Then all you gotta do is listen to what they want, create some plugins, and bam, you have a business literally overnight. It really is that easy. So what we wanna do is you wanna start out on the right foot. And the way to start out right is to start with an idea. Now, a lot of people say, well, Marcus, I got lots of ideas for software and everything like that. And that's all fine. That's all good. But what we want to do is we want to start where people are looking. Let's hop in the computer and I'll show you exactly how this works. All right. So first, let's take a look at how this works. How do we get started with an idea for software? Well, the first thing we need to do is go to something like the Google AdWords tool or have some kind of idea in mind based on what we've seen. So if we start with the Google AdWords tool, we can go here and we can type in things like WordPress plugin and we can see what kind of plugins people want. We have WordPress gallery plugin, install plugin, directory plugin, calendar plugin, uh, forum plugin, form plugin, uh, search plugin, review plugin, and on and on we go. So there's lots of different plugins that people want for WordPress. Now this is kind of the software that I specialize in. I create little uh, WordPress softwares and I don't actually create them myself. I outsource them and uh, I found this guy that I outsource on. He's been working for me since like 2007 and uh, I found him through onlinejobs.ph I think it was and uh, hired him and he's been making our plugins ever since. Really good stuff. Now there is a little bit of a curve here. Sometimes you have to work through a couple of people to find find someone you like, but you can also do like a one-off job where you say, hey, I just want you to make me a WordPress calendar plugin and I'll pay you 500 bucks or whatever, right? You could do like a one type deal and try different people out uh, to find someone that you like, which is really cool. All right, we can also go to the AdWords tool like this and we can type in different things like pop-ups, right? Like pop-up blockers. You could see here, pop-up blocker Chrome, pop-up blocker. You could see these are very low competition and uh, 33,000 searches a month, 49,000 searches a month, uh, how to disable a pop-up blocker. We got disable block, uh, blockers here, uh, spybot search and destroy. That's a software a guy made that has done really well. Um, disable pop-up, allow pop-ups. So you can create little tools and things like that. Um, and you can see, you know, it goes, keeps going down and down and down, which is really good. So you can create a simple pop-up blocker or have one built, uh, use it as like a Chrome add-on or something like that. Another thing you could search for is different things like calculators. Calculators are great. Uh, calculators I like to use as like giveaway type things where it's like, hey, you get this calculator if you put your name and email in the box. That way I could build a mailing list pretty easy. Uh, you can see there's lots of things from mortgage calculators to web calculators to scientific calculators, and on and on we go, and they have a lot of traffic for all of these. Uh, calculators are super easy. You can get them built for like $50. You can make them yourself and have them converted. Very, very easy to work with. Uh, another thing that you can do is look at converters. A lot of people are looking to convert things online, like money converter um, or convert MP3s. Uh, that would be a great software tool that you could give away. Um, you could do, uh, you could even charge for it. Online video converters, those are ones I've spent probably thousands of dollars on video converters over the years. Uh, MP3 uh, converter here. Um, you got lots of different things that you have here. YouTube converters, uh, YouTube converters here, um, and on and on you go. Music converters, tons of different things, and you can see there's lots of people searching. And the key to this is that there's really low competition. Even with the WordPress stuff, pretty low competition, right? If I go and I do a, a Google search for a WordPress calendar plugin, okay, you're gonna see there's probably not that many people. Well, let's use Google. There we go, there's only one advertiser on Bing. If we do uh, Google here, we could see no advertisers at the top, none at the bottom, uh, none on page two, none on page three. You actually have product listings too, that's pretty cool. Um, then you got none on page three here, 
yeah, so like there's there's no one advertising on this. Super cheap. If you had a calendar plugin, uh, you could put this bad boy up, charge like seven dollars, twenty seven bucks, even ninety seven dollars if it's a robust one, um, and do really well. And then you got a list of people who you know use WordPress. Same kind of thing's gonna happen with like directory plugins, gallery plugin, right? The gallery plugin's good because it's like you know that these people are, are probably going to be like photographers or image-based sites and stuff like that. Again, no competition, like literally nothing. Uh, you can also run Facebook targeted ads to WordPress groups and sell tons of plugins, which is something that I do and it works really well, right? Really cool. You can also see like pop-up blockers and things like this. Very, very little uh, competition. Let's do uh, pop-up blocker. Let's see what kind of competition we have here. Pop-up blocker, we have, okay, no advertising on the first page, none on the second page. Literally no competition for this stuff, and, you know, it's really easy to get into. Uh, you can offer a free version to build a list, or you could sell it for, you know, 20 bucks, 100 bucks, or whatever. Uh, same kind of deal with um, calculators, same kind of deal with exchange uh, currency converter kind of things. Um, for WordPress, here's another one, right? Imagine if you had a bunch of WordPress themes that you could give away, right? You could go outsource someone to create a thousand themes or a hundred themes or whatever. Uh, put those on your site, say, hey, we're gonna give you a bunch of themes or maybe make three really good ones, who knows? Um, that's what I do, I make really good ones uh, with a purpose and we can give those away. That's like a digital product that I now have that can make me lots of money. Same with templates, uh, same with plugins, same kind of deal, WordPress website builder, right? Now that's a little bit more competitive, but that's gonna compete with things like click funnels and stuff like that, which as you know, the dude's making like $100 million a year off that. Uh, WordPress page builder, site builder, theme builder, lots of stuff there. You could even go in and do like site builder, right like this, site builder, right like this. Let's see what it comes up with here. Uh, site builders, you got a website builder, website maker, create a website, on and on and on we go. Now, this is kind of expensive on Google, so I would probably buy my traffic on Facebook. I would also do YouTube videos about how my builder works. Great way to get a lot of traffic as well, right? Awesome stuff. We also have, uh, this one is interesting. Now, I actually had a create, I, I actually had a plugin that I created that makes Instagram bio links, right? You see in your Instagram profile, you have like the little spot for a link. And most people use what's called Linktree, which is a service and it creates links and it's very basic and silly and whatever. Um, I don't particularly like it because the conversion rate on that type of stuff is usually pretty low. So what I did is I created my own. So instead of having like a Linktree with a bunch of stupid looking links, what I did is I actually put image ads that you can rotate that work really well. Okay, so when they click the Instagram, they go here. This is a little software that I built. This one literally took the guy six hours to make, which means it cost me like 18 bucks or something crazy like that. Uh, we're outsourcing to different countries where the wages are a lot lower. Um, so we got that there and it works like crazy. Um, and we've actually had a lot of people buy and download this plugin. Um, I prefer to use this as a giveaway, but a lot of people do but a lot of people do pay $17 a month just to have this plugin. And what I did is I went for people that are looking for like a link tree or Instagram bio, um, bio, best bio for Instagram, creative Instagram, people that are looking for the bios and people that are looking to monetize their social media, this works really well. Now I want you to think of the power of this. I got a bunch of people on Instagram. They all want to get more traffic to their websites or their affiliate links or whatever. I give them the plugin or maybe charge 17 bucks, which is super cheap. And then they get the plugin. Now I have a list of people that are interested in making money with Instagram, which is boom, jackpot for me. I can make a lot of money with that. Now, let me show you how this works in the real world so that you can see how to develop this stuff. Okay, so let's say we have the idea here and our idea is to do the Instagram bio type thing okay what I would do is I would go over to my uh, sketcher program here and I would map out what I want the plugin to look like right so I would go through and I'd be like okay well first of all I want there to be some boxes right so I could I could just literally take a screenshot so I'll just go to uh, where I have that page and I'd be like hey I want I want images that look like this okay and you just go find images that look like this and then I use the Snagit program here. Let's see, let's capture right like this. And I just like have a Snagit thing here, okay? And capture this, oh, let's see. Capture this here like this. 
All right, and let's see what's going on. There we go. Okay, so I just capture this and I would map it out in a really easy way. So I do like this, okay, create this here. And this would be our end result, okay? Right like this. So I would map this out and it looks like our dog is here to say hi. So say hi to the dog. There she is. Okay, so I'd map this out here. I'd have the little um, boxes here. And then I'd say, okay, well, what do I want it to look like? Well, I want them to have a spot where they can upload the image, right? So I'll have like this. Oh, let's see, let's get rid of that one. So I go in here and I'd have like an image spot where you have like little boxes or something. So let's get a box. I like this. Okay, right like this here. Okay, upload image. Okay, and then I would tell them, I'd say, okay, for these images, just put like an arrow here. And I'd be like, okay, these images, images centered, um, we'd do something like, I think it's 600 by 300 size. Okay. So images centered 600 by 300 size. I'd put upload image and then I have like a little spot. So this is what their control panel would look like. Okay. And I'd say, okay, upload image. Um, I'd do something like this where it says create new ad. Okay. And then I just work with the programmer and tell them exactly what I want. So it'd be like this. Insert image or upload image. Okay, right like that. So they'd upload their image like that and then it'd have like a text box. So you could just go in here and be like, okay, well, I want a text box here. And let's see if we have our text box. There we go. So it'd be here and it'd be like, okay, enter, enter your text. Okay. And then it'd be like, enter your link. Enter your link, right like this. And then it'd have the spot for like the upload your image, right like that. And then I would also say, uh, you know, we want it to track the clicks. Okay, so be zoom, right like this. Track all clicks to all ads on main page. Okay, right like that. And I'd be like, okay, here's what I, the out the output result that we want. Here's the create a new ad, create your enter your text, enter your link upload image. Okay. Now, if you want them to like make new links, like ours, you could see actually has new links here. Um, so it makes new links for them. So we could go through and say, Hey, you know what? We want them to cloak the links. Um, you can put that as well. Okay. And then you could put something like, um, enable how many ads or whatever. And then what'll happen is your person is actually going to build this for you in a really cool way. Um, they'll have questions. So as you build it, you'll be like, hey, this is what I want. And they'll come back with like a demo. You'll be like, okay, change it this way or change it that way. And then when you're done, they'll send you the file. And once you have that file, you're good to go. You're golden. Um, some of the other stuff you can do is downloadable products. Um, you can make products like video products, PDF products, writing book products, uh, different things like that. And the cool thing about these is that once you own them, you can use them for whatever you want. You can get people to opt in. You can sell them. Um, I've done a combination of both where I've sold them, made millions of dollars off them. Um, I've given them away to build a mailing list. And these are like your digital assets. And if you want to build a good income, this is what you want to do. Now, if you want to outsource the creation of like an article or a book or something like that uh, what I use is go what I use is getwebsitecontent.com and you can actually go there and for like a hundred bucks or 200 bucks someone will actually write you a full-on book which is crazy now for couple bucks, you could get like different articles and things like that. Um, but they'll write you books and everything, anything you want, you can literally outsource in a really easy way. I have lots of friends who outsource books and post them on Amazon and make lots of money. Um, now I prefer to do this with software and plugins because software and plugins stands the test of time. And um, you can always improve and you can always build your mailing list and build your database and build up a huge income. Uh, you see lots of people who do different software as a service, like autoresponders and things like that. Now, my advice to you would be do something simple, right? Just do something super simple that solves one problem and do it really good, right? Build a little tool, spend a hundred bucks or a couple hundred bucks or whatever to build the little tool, get a good one, and then go out there and use it. Um, I myself have bought 
hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of little software tools over the years. Uh, one of the ones I use is Text Crawler to help me build things. I use little video editors. I use pop-up makers, all kinds of things that I bought over the years that work really, really well. Anything from like little page creators and stuff like that. Uh, really cool. And if you have that, you own the market, which is really cool. Now, if you like this kind of stuff, we are teaching this in the Simple Sites course at simplesitesbonus.com. We have a special section in the new updated version that's coming out soon. So you wanna go there and order now at the price it's at now, because when the new one comes out, it's gonna be more expensive. But if you order now, you get the old one and the new one, which is cool. So if you wanna learn that, we do teach software creation, outsourcing and everything in the Simple Sites Bonus course at simplesitesbonus.com. Now, if you actually are interested in doing software as a business, I also have a service where we go through, we build a software with you personally and work with you for over a, and work with you for a year on setting it up, building it, and creating an income, which is cool. So if you want a way to work with me, uh, what I would say do if you want that, it's like a private type deal, so you would have to contact us. Uh, go to pcmoneymaking.com, put in a ticket, and tell Alyssa, say, hey, I'm interested in the software year-long course. Now, it's not cheap. That's why we only do it by um, request only. So you can go to pcmoneymaking.com, submit a ticket, and say, hey, I'm interested in this course and um, building software with Marcus, and she will send you the info on that as well, which is really cool. So either way, uh, learn how to do this, start building software. It's not that hard to do. Um, outsource it, build it yourself. Uh, some of the ways that I build software myself, which is really cool, you guys have seen uh, the Simple Sites Big Profits course that looks like this. Okay, this pops up in little software, and you can actually log in here right like this and you can see what the software looks like and it's basically uh, video and then little tools and things like that so as you're going through uh, like you go to niche finding um, you're gonna see the tools right so under trigger word we got the little tools here and the video pops up everything like that right super easy to go through super easy to make now the way that this works this software is nothing more than a glorified web page right if I was actually to go through and find that software. Let's see where I actually have it hosted. I think I have it hosted in here under 2018, I believe it is. Let's see here, 2018, right here. So this is literally what the software looks like. I just went and got a bunch of icons, okay? And I put these icons into a, a file, right? It is super easy. Like literally all I'm doing is taking Microsoft front page or whatever HTML editor you use. I've used this, this is front page 2003. And then I just drag my file in here and you can see, you just make it like this, right? Like if I want a different icon here, I just take this one out and I'm like, okay, well, um, I want this little rose icon and boom, there you go. And then all I have to do is link these to different pages on my site and boom, now I have like a full on software program. And I have used this little method to make millions of dollars with little membership site software, which is crazy, right? Really easy to do. Um, and all you have to know is how the folder works. And it's basically the same as how a uh, computer folder works where you're linking one thing. So like you wanna link to this file it's gonna have a properties and it's gonna say, hey, the file is um, this file here. Let's see, how do we get the big long one? Right, it'll show you like the, the URL of the file or like the folder and stuff like that. So like if you wanna come here, it would say this PC, Marcus's Cloud 2018. Now the same thing happens online, right? If you were to look at like the online version of that tool, it's the same exact thing. So you would just go affiliate marketing dude.com slash login. Okay, so here we are. You can see here up in the top, if I bring this down, you can see it's affiliatemarketingdude.com slash login slash 2017. I have this behind a protector so people can't see it unless they log in. But you can see that the different pages, like this one's going to go to slash start.htm. This one goes to start2.htm, uh, start5.htm. So all I have to do is have a little page for each one, put the little video code, and boom, I could make a full-fledged software out of like an info product and make a lot of money, which is really cool. So again, the tip is to find your niche first, right? So go to your AdWords tool, find out what you're gonna build your software for. Okay, you're gonna make a WordPress menu plugin, great. Is there enough traffic? Um, yeah, in these, there's definitely enough traffic. Uh, if you're gonna make a pop-up blocker or something else, use that and then go mock it up, outsource it, and then maybe it'll take you, let's say a couple of weeks to build this, maybe a couple of months to build it. Even if it takes you a couple months to build it, you're gonna have something that'll generate income for a long time. So 
do this the right way. Don't mess around with little, hey, here's the quickest way to quick, quick, quick. Just build it right and you'll make a, a sustainable income as I have for almost 20 years now. And it's not that hard to do. You just gotta get in there, start building, put the pedal to the metal, build it out, sell it, then off to the races you go. And you can even get affiliates to sell your product for you. There's people on JVZoo that build little softwares all day long and they're making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Some of them millions of dollars a year with little software tools. You know, you've probably bought them and you could be doing that too. So here's to making this work. Again, if you wanna learn this stuff in detail, uh, check out simplesitesbonus.com, get our Simple Sites course. We teach it in there. And then if you want more info on software, comment below, say, hey, I want more info on software. I like this kind of stuff. And we'll make some more videos for you. And if you wanna join our private secret software year-long course uh, where I build software with you and I actually have my team build your software and come up with your ideas and everything, uh, write us at pcmoneymaking.com and tell us you're interested in that. So at pcmoneymaking.com, click on submit a ticket, make a ticket, say I'm interested, what do I do? And we'll give you those details. So until next time, have fun learning about how to build software. Again, it's not that hard. There's little tools you can use. Um, we teach you more about that in the Simple Sites course and make something. Thanks again for watching. I'm Marcus. Subscribe if you like this, and I'll see you in the next video.